Good morning, YouTube, BookTube. This is Johnny. It's been every day. I'm on I'm on YouTube or BookTube, looking at videos, watching videos, and I notice that the time goes by so quickly. It's been I think six five days since I made a video. I think about making a video every day, but time gets away from me. Today is April the 9th, 2023. It is a Sunday morning here in West Michigan. And uh, my wife went to church. It's Resurrection Sunday. I am writing in my diary. Paper diary, I'm on page 294 for the year 2023. I should hit page 300 this this week. We're already going in the middle of the month. It's like before you know it, we're going to be in the month of May. So in this video, I'm just basically going to say hi. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for telling me what you're reading, how you're doing. I'm doing okay. It's like I've said in my videos, I notice I have about 1,600 videos and um, my days are pretty simple. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm kind of a hermit type. I'm kind of a, uh, I don't like going out into the world. Now that I'm going on 71 years old, I don't have to work. Uh, I'm retired. My kids, our kids are grown and married, have children. They're all doing well as far as we know. This afternoon, after my wife gets home from church, we'll go down the street and have brunch with our oldest son and his family. His wife's uh, mother and father are there, Mitch and Vicki. And so we'll hang out with Caleb, who's our oldest son, his wife Emily, and our little granddaughters, Josie Joy and Cora Lee, and the little dog Ollie, which you've seen in past videos. So yeah, so it'll just be a typical quiet Sunday. And um, yeah, I live a quiet life. I get up in the mornings, I write in my diary, I read my Christian books into the afternoon. As I've mentioned in my videos, I get kind of in a lull in the afternoons from about 1 until 4, 4.30. I kind of just write, watch videos, watch the birds from our kitchen window. We have a bird feeder out our kitchen window on the side of our house. and. And then we watch the news at 4 o'clock, see about the weather, and then have a light dinner and read until I go to bed. That's basically what I do. Now, I go to the Book Nook, the library used bookstore, which is just five minutes from where we live. As I mentioned, the Book Nook is closing down at the end of June because they're going to remodel the library, the downstairs where the Book Nook is, and they're going to move the Book Nook, the library used bookstore, into another place and it won't be done until April 2024. So we'll be closed from June 2023 and open again in April of 2024. So I won't be going to the book next. So I won't be going anywhere. I'll sit in this house waiting for the second coming of Christ, read my books, write my diary, and uh, visit used bookstore, I mean uh, thrift stores where I buy used books and um, read and write and wait and pray and seek the face of God until the Lord calls me home. So what have I been reading? Well first of all I have gotten books in the mail. As you all know I've been reading uh, I have it here in front of me. I don't think I have it in front of me now. Oh yeah. I have been reading uh, Solenoid by 
Carusco, Mira Carusto, I can't pronounce his name. He's a Romanian writer. This is his Blinding, which was published and then Selenoid came out after this. This is uh, Archipelago Books and Deep Vailum, Vail 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 I can't, Vailum published Selenoid. Deep Vailum, Vailum, I can't pronounce the name. Anyway, I've been reading this at night down the lower level, but he's a Romanian writer and so uh, I bought recently uh, this by I bought another book. Wait a minute, hold on. I don't think I have it with me. This is Selenoid. I'm almost done with this. I was reading this, I kind of took a break, but then I was looking at Romanian writers and it mentioned this writer his name is Norman Mena this this is another I got this in the mail yesterday the black envelope by this Romanian writer Norman Mena and uh, I got this in the mail yesterday this is a novel but I bought his memoirs called uh, The Hooligans Return a memoir by Norman Mena and I read this uh, last night and so I got this I, I wanted to read something about life in Romania now he writes about Romania where to go I've watched a lot of interviews and panel discussions with uh, Carusco, but he hasn't really gone into the history of Romania. And I wanted something more about the the a personal view of Romania. That was a writer, and this fellow is a very famous Romanian writer. And I wanted I read about this on the internet, the memoir about his life, and uh, he grew, he, uh, when he was a child, the war broke out, the Second World War, his family was Jewish, they went to a concentration camp, they came back in 1948, back to Romania, and then it was under a communist dictatorship, and then finally, uh, in the 80s, he left, Romania and went into exile. Uh, he was already a famous writer. I don't know much about his literary history, but this covers him leaving Romania and then uh, the dictatorship falls and then he decides to go back to Romania. He's already living in the United States, living in New York City, teaching at Bard College. I don't know all the details of that. So it's about him looking back at his past in Romania, his family, and then going back to Romania after being in exile and all that, what all that, the memories and all the feelings and thoughts and he brings in the history of Romania. So I was, that's why I got this. I'm enjoying it. The hooligans return. In this, he mentions last night I was reading this. And he mentions this book, which I already had in my library. It's called The Two Thousand Years by Melhide, Melhide Sebastian. I can't pronounce the name. But it says here in the back, uh, Melhide Sebastian, 1934, masterpiece, now translated into English for the the first time was written amid the anti-Semitism which would be which by the end of the de decade forced him out of his career and turn his friends and colleagues against him. For 2,000 years the title of, the, of this book is a present heart-wrenching chronicle of resilience, despair, 
and the Terrible Forces of History. Uh, quotes here, Hen Arthur Miller, the playwright, his prose is like something Chekhov might have written, the same modesty, candor, and subtleness of obs observation. So I've been looking at this since I got it out last night. I've had it for a while. Uh, I don't know what it came out. This is a penguin came out in... When does it come out? doesn't say when it came out. It doesn't say when it came out. But anyway, I've had it for a while. And when I read about it last night, I dug it out of my library. It was copyrighted in 1934. But it doesn't say when this was published. But anyway, I got it out. So I got this in the mail yesterday, The Black Envelope by Norman Mena, translated by Patrick K. Mailer. Uh, when, I, when I cataloged this uh, novel and library thing, four of my uh, interesting libraries people had this. So it must be a well-known novel in Romanian, because a lot of people had it. So I've been reading that, and I got this in the mail too last week, Parallel Stories by Peter Nannis. He is a, uh, was born in Budapest in 1942. Among his works translated into English are The Book of Memories, which I have, The End of a Family Story and Love, as well as Collected stories and essays, fire and knowledge, which I have. I didn't have this. I was looking at a YouTube video, a YouTube video, a YouTube booktube guy, and I noticed this was on his bookshelf. This, you know, I like big books. This thing's over 1,113 pages. I like massive books. <laughs> I have this thing. If I see a massive mammoth book and it looks interesting I buy it and so I bought this used it wasn't that much like ten dollars and it's called parallel stories and so I got this in the mail and like I said I've been reading blinding I've been reading I've been still reading really enjoying this uh, the story of a life by this uh, I think he is Ukrainian. He grew up in Ukrainian Moscow. This was translated from the Russian. Uh, the Story of a Life by Konstan Panyushki, Douglas Smith. This has really been really a a great read. I highly recommend it. It's very uh, very well written. Also still reading, I read this yesterday when I was at the Book Nook. No, I was at the Book Nook Friday. I read The Hive. I'm still reading this. This is translated out of Spanish by James Walmack. This is The Hive by Camilo Jose Sila. So I'm still reading this. Then I got another book in the mail. I had pre-ordered this. From the New York Review, New York Review Books, New York Review Books. This is the letters of William Gaddis. Uh, the New York Review Books just reprinted his uh, Gaddis's famous novel *Recognitions*, and then they reprinted his novel *J.R.*. And now they came out with his letters of William Gaddis. This was had, was published a while back by New Directions, but. Apparently, this is an expanded edition. I don't know. It, I don't know if it has the same amount of letters. It says revised edition. Edited by Stephen Moore. Stephen Moore, uh, who was an editor for New Directions, his memoirs are coming out, I think, in May. And I have pre-ordered them. It's uh, afterward by Sarah Gaddis, his daughter, William Gaddis's daughter. So I read this for a couple of days and 
And I have still been reading Divine Days by Leon Moore Forrest. I read this, I read over 300 pages. This is another mammoth book. This is 1,110 pages. So I've been reading uh, Divine Days by Leon Forrest. I've been reading The Letters of William Gaddis. Reading The Hive by Sela. Sela. Really enjoying the story of a life. I read this yesterday. At night, before I go to bed, I've been reading Blinding by Karsuski. I can't pronounce the name. That's one reason why I don't make videos, because I'm embarrassed that I cannot pronounce names, or I, my pronunciation is so horrible. But I highly recommend these books, Parallel Stories. Like I said, I have, I've had for years his book, A Book of Memories, and I have his stories and essays, Fire and Knowledge. The reason why I got Fire and Knowledge used a while back is he has an essay on melancholy, on uh, depression, and that's why I got it. Uh, it says here, New York Times Book Review, Notable Book of the Year. So I want to get into this sometime in the future. I got the Black Envelope by Norman Mela in the mail. Tr this is uh, translated out of Romanian. And uh, The Hooligans Return, a memoir by... Norman Mena and Reading Stelloid by Carusco. So that's what I've been reading. As far as I've been reading in the mornings, I'm still reading Platonism and Mystical Theology, the Spiritual Directing of Gregor of Nyssa by Jean Dainu. Yeah, I read the, I, I, I read one book one morning and then I read another book, a different book, another morning, and so I, I go through these. Yesterday morning I read The Holy Spirit by Ro Robert Lethem. And I got this book in the mail last week. I can't, my wife listens on her cell phone the uh, ministry of John Piper, who's a uh, Desiring God Ministries. He's a, now he's a minister, retired, but he writes, this is a book he wrote last year, What is Stating Faith? Reflections on Receiving Christ as Treasure. So I've been reading this. I got this in the mail last week, and I didn't know it was out. I'm interested in what is saving faith. What does it mean to put your faith in Christ? And I was kind of interesting, uh, intrigued to know what he wrote. It uh, it's kind of controversial among reform people, Calvinists, but I've been reading that, and I've been reading in the morning. I showed you this in a recent video. Biblical theology, canonical, thematic, and ethical approach by Andreas Kistenberger and Gregory Goswell. So I've been reading these in the mornings for devotions. Really enjoying Platonism and the mystical theology, the spiritual doctrine of Gregory of Nyssa, Gregory John Dina. I've been reading along with this, uh, Gregory of Nyssa's exposition, the Song of Solomon. Highly recommend this, Gregory of Nyssa. I've been reading along because he quotes in here from Gregory of Nyssa's writings. I don't have all of Gregory of Nyssa's writings. I have on the Song of Solomon. He, you can buy his exposition on the Beatitudes, his exposition on Ecclesiastes, but I just have on the Song of Solomon, and I have an anthology of his writings, Gregory of Nyssa. And like I said, I've been reading on the Holy Spirit by Robert Lethem yesterday. So I read these in the mornings while I'm writing in my diary. I wander the house. I feed the birds, take out the garbage, I talk to my wife, and I watch booktube videos, I watch the news, and I write, I write all the time, 
in my diary, paper diary. I've been doing this since 1968. And yeah. So I read, I write, I wait, I pray. And my life goes by. So I hope you're all having a good Resurrection Sunday, that you know the power of the Resurrection, that you know something of the sweetness of Divine Grace. And yeah, not much else. I don't think I have any books coming in the mail this week. I don't plan to go anywhere except to the book nook tomorrow. And I just seek to live within my little little area of life trying to keep my heart and mind fixed on eternal realities as I wait for my time to go home and to be with Jesus and the elect angels and the saints of all ages because as you get older life just seems to be flying by like I said it's been five or six days since I made a video hope you're all doing well have a good reading week thank you for your comments and your prayers and your blessings and until next time bye